Hi, this is Dave with Customer Dynamics. Today I'm going to talk about showing and hiding tabs and sections based on values of fields on a form. Right now, you cannot show and hide tabs with and sections with business rules, although you can show and hide fields. So this needs to be done with JavaScript. Let me show you a, a use case here. So we have a bike store and we have a field account type, type 1 and type 2. And let's say we only want to show the type 1 section when the account type is type 1 and the account type 1 tab when the account type is type 1. So first of all, we need to go into the form and take a look at some of the, the field values and tab and section values. So <clears throat> on account type, when we go into the details tab, we see the new account type name, which we'll use. And also, if we edit this, we'll see we're using a global option set and we'll want to edit that option set and take a look at the value of type one, which is 100 million. So we'll just make a note of that. And we can close out. Now secondly, we want to get the tab name and section name of the tab and sections that we want to show and hide. So first of all, we'll get the details tab name, which is details underscore tab. And the section, which is type one section and then the tab that we want to show and hide account type one is named account type one tab with this information we can start coding in the comments I've I've noted some of the information here such as the account type name now to show and hide a tab we use this function xrm.page.ui dot tabs dot get and then we pass in the tab name that we saw previously on the form and then to show and hide the section we use xrm dot page dot ui dot tabs dot get pass in the tab name dot sections dot get pass in the section name dot set visible and then either true or false to either show or hide so I've created a really simple function in which we have a variable to get the account type value. Remember the value for type one is 100 million. And then for any value other than type one, we want to hide the, the tab in the section. And so I've set these show tab and show section variables to false. And if it is type one or the value is 100 million, then we're setting show tab and so show, show section to true. And then we're just passing the appropriate information into the two functions that we previously talked about. So to show, to show and hide the tab, we're passing in that tab name and then the variable for show tab, which will either be true or false. And then here, <clears throat> we're passing in the details tab tab name and then the section section name and the variable for true or false so let's go ahead and add this to the form we'll go to form properties add the function and this is a new web resource that I've made so I'm going to click add oh excuse me I'm going to click on new. We'll select a type of script and we can actually just use the text editor here. Grab all of our code, paste it in. 
we'll first save and publish the web resource. Now we can add that web resource to the page. Now, since we want this logic to execute when the form is opened and when the account type field changes, we want to put it in both those the, the function in both of those places. So while we're still on form properties, we can click on add. Add the function here. You'll notice again that the event is on load. So that'll fire on load. And then second, we'll want to go to the account type field. Select events and add. Now we can save and publish the form. Go back to our account and refresh it. So right now the account type is type 1. If I change it to type 2, the section hides as well as the tab. If I change it back to type 1, our type 1 section appears as well as the account type 1 tab. So that's how you hide and show tabs and sections with JavaScript. One thing to keep in mind is if you're using CRM for Outlook and you rely heavily on the preview pane. The preview pane doesn't execute any sort of JavaScript and so it'll show tabs regardless based on the de default visibility that you set in the form editor. So that's just one thing to be aware of. Of course, once if someone opens up an actual record out of Outlook, then the JavaScript will execute and perform your logic. Again, thanks for watching.